YouTube, what's up? I've asked earlier on Twitter, if you don't follow my Twitter, it's below. It's in the links in my description. I asked what some things you guys want to know how to stop. And the main thing I keep hearing about is this fake screenplay that I started running on stream. As soon as the game dropped, I ran a lot. It's actually in both of my current guides that I have up. One's at Playbook, that's the Jets, that's what we're going to be looking at now. And the other one's at MaddenTurf.com. You can check out that link below as well to get the Saints ebook that includes this, this screen will play. I'm not going to show you guys how to run it. If you want to know that, you can check out the guides. And I don't want to give away this play for free. But a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you stop this? You know, I, I'm getting torches killing me. And I can see how it's a play that people run up and down the field and everything like that. So what I want to do is show you guys an easy, easy way to stop it and what I do to stop it so this doesn't happen to you guys all the time because honestly, as much as I like finding a glitchy play, this, this is not good for anybody playing Madden and not, definitely not good for guys that, you know, are just, you know, average casual Madden players to play because it really could take the joy out of the game and that's something I want to make sure it doesn't happen to everybody. So obviously we see here, I'm, I'm a cover three guy. I like cover three this year. So I'm just going to pick any old cover three. We'll call it the three, four odd cover, cover three sky. And the play is in the Jets, obviously. I'm going to move the ball back. Give you space to see what happens with the play. Now, what happened, I want to say, before last year is... They kind of change the hot routes that, that we can do with DBs. Like middle linebackers can't go in flat zones and you know certain, certain things like that. There's certain restrictions to who can go where and who can't go anywhere. And the biggest thing that allowed us to do is change the type of deep zones that we have. Like there's no longer one deep blue. Like the, man, playing man growing up, it was always one deep blue. You know, that's the deep blue you put on the field. But different deep blues will do different things and you have to realize that. And what happens with the fake screenplay is this deep blue over here will cover the, the, the scene. That's why it's such an effective play. As you see, when he runs in here, he's going to cover the scene. He's going to leave that wide open. Boom. Possible touchdown, huge play. So what you have to do is obviously that a deep third that he's in naturally from his play is not going to cover this. He's going to get glitched into the Y route and give up a wheel. So if you hit Y, individual Y, A, oh no, what is it? Hold on, wait, 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 my fault. I gotta do the quick adjust, that's what it is. Y, A would be how you individually guard each receiver. But you hit Y, Y, it'll bring up your icons of your DBs, and then obviously it's Ronald Darby over here, my first corner. Then you hit B, now you're on Ronald Darby. You can make him anything you want. So you see these, you have two different two other well you have three deep zones you can put them in the outside third which is in which we know will be glitched by this play so he cannot no longer be in an outside third so you can put him in a deep half which people do a lot to invert to not get beat by cover three beaters and things like that or you can put him in an outside quarter like cover four so there's three options as far as which deep zone we can put him in and anyone either than the outside third will stop this play you can put him in a deep half that will stop this play. The thing, you know what I mean? He will not be glitched. So if we go ahead and run this play, you'll see again that he will not suck in right there. And he will be there to make a play on the ball. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. If you see this formation, honestly, the way I run cover three now, I just assume, you have to assume everybody has some type of cover three beater. And you have to put your corner out here in a deep half <clears throat> rather than the outside third. Because that will stop all type of cover three bombs. So essentially the first half of a game, I'd probably go like that. Both my corners in a deep half because that will allow, won't allow any cover three beaters to work. And you'll get stops in cover three. And they'll try their cover three beaters like I just did with the wheel route. And it will be boxed. So change your outside thirds into deep halves. And you'll be way better off when running cover three. And you won't get beat by the fake screen will glitch that's out early in the year.